right here as well. That's the circular saw, the 24 teeth. And this side is the 60 tooth. All right, so today what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the difference between uh, saw blades that have a lot of teeth against uh, saw blades that don't have as much teeth. All right, there is a big, huge difference in performance and even sound, believe it or not. The sound is actually dampened with the blades that have more teeth. I was actually surprised about that. There we go. show you guys the difference on the laminate all right so everyone says laminate flooring is a blade killer but this is a perfect example of on how to see the difference between the two because there actually is a finish on here that will majorly chip with certain blades so this is a perfect example we're going to use a seven and a quarter inch circular saw and we're going to use a 10 inch miter saw so i am excited about this one uh i I got, I always wanted to get the higher tooth blades and I say it in every video that I have a saw, do not use the blades that the saw comes with. Go get a higher tooth blade because it is a much better blade and it is not as crappy as the blades that your tools actually come with. All right, so this is a 40 tooth blade on a 10 inch saw and this is a 60 tooth blade on a 10 inch saw. The seven and a quarter is a 24 uh, tooth blade and this seven and a quarter is a 60 tooth blade. So I'm gonna show you guys the difference and the results will actually blow your mind. You know, that's why I'm actually doing this video. Alrighty, so first let's use the seven and a quarter inch circular saw. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna do, do two cuts. This is not timed. I just wanna show you the, the results after the cut. All right, so here we go. All right, so let's do one more. Let's do one more cut. There we go. Let's switch out the blade really quick. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we are gonna use uh, the 60 tooth. I did a couple of cuts because it was a brand new blade. I wanted a few cuts into it so it's not a brand new blade so it has some wear and tear for this actual test. Alrighty, so right here is good. All right, so ready, go. Look at that, that is so much smoother. Let's do one more cut. Time. Now let's take those two and compare them to the other one. All right, so as you can see, the difference in the two and remember, this is with a circular saw, so it's still going to be a little uh, edge here because uh, it, it's a circular saw. So that is a big difference when it comes to these two. Right here as well, that's a circular saw, the 24 teeth. And this side is the 60 tooth. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all, so what a difference I have in that on. All right, so as you can see, we have the 24, uh, the 40 tooth blade on there. Uh, we're using two three amp hour batteries with 2,700 cells in them. And one thing I will say is this, people need to give RYOBI more credit than what they actually get. This saw is actually awesome. This saw, I abuse this saw. I cut four by sixes all the time with this, two by fours, four by fours. I use a, a laminate. I use this for everything, and this saw is still going like it's brand new. I, I, this is one of my most used tools that I have in my arsenal, 
and it's still going strong. And I had this like about a year and a half, I think. Uh, two, almost two years, I think two years, but. Yeah, the, the, the people need to give Ryobi more credit than what they have. <laughs> Let's do a couple of cuts. That's one. Let's do another one. That's two. All right, well now let's change out. Let's change out this blade. Oh, we're not done yet though. While I have this on there, I want to cut the two by six and then we'll switch. Sorry, four by six. I got to cut this up into couple of pieces. There are no holes where I'm going to cut right here. Right there is good. All right, so ready, go. And remember, I'm using three amp hour batteries in there. And remember when you change out your blades, it is righty, loosey, lefty, tighty. It is the exact opposite of a screw or bolt or lag. There we go. And these Milwaukee gloves, just so you guys know, they're not doing too well. Put the 60 blade on there. That's good. Do this. Perfect. And I don't have to worry about that again because I am keeping this blade on as I work. Let's put the batteries back in. And like I said, three amp hour batteries. All right, so let's cut the laminate. Let's cut two, put the Allen key back where it goes. Cut two pieces of laminate. Wow, so much better. This is the middle piece to wear, so we'll judge that as well. And then cut one more for the comparison. Time. Wow, what a difference in that. These are the results of the cut. All right, let me take my gloves off. All right, so these cuts right here, one, two. All right, so these cuts right here, so one cut, two cut, and three cuts, that is with the 60 tooth blade. Now this one, is with the 40 tooth blade. Look at that. Like so these cuts 40 tooth these cuts 60 tooth. So there's a huge difference between a 60 tooth blade and a 40 tooth blade. 40 40 40 60 60 60. Huge difference. All right, so when it comes to a blade I highly recommend you get a higher tooth blade. And of course they make even more teeth, like uh, the, 12, the 12 inch, you're able to get an 80 tooth blade. I think you, you can get an 80 tooth blade with a 10 inch, but what a difference between the blades because there's more teeth on there so that it's gonna be a much smoother cut and you get better results. And so I highly recommend whatever saw you get and the, don't even use the blade it comes with unless if you're doing something that's that you don't care about. But I highly recommend you get a blade uh, that has more teeth. Now, I am going to give one last shout out to this uh, miter saw. This is uh, the sliding a battery operated miter saw. This came out many years ago and it actually is a good it actually is a good saw. It actually is a good saw. And then don't forget one thing you need to do with your sliding miter saws. And don't forget to adjust the laser. The laser needs to be adjusted once in a while make, to make sure your cuts are going exactly where you want them to go. So don't forget to adjust your laser. 
get the blade. You could also clean your blades if you use them for a while. Uh, and so, yeah, so not bad at all for a battery operated sliding 10 inch sliding miter saw or a seven and a quarter inch battery operated circular saw. So yeah, I highly recommend you get a bigger blade. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.